What is up my friends? Welcome to part six in our series, Understanding Cleaning Chemicals. If there's one thing that's become popular over the last years, it's hand sanitizers and disinfecting products. So much so that I've gone to the stores on numerous occasions and they've been sold out of both. Furthermore, I see a ton of confusion between the two. People use the words interchangeably and they just get mixed up and there's just a lot of confusion. And so I wanna clear that up in this video. In video four of this series, I talked about the difference between uh, disinfecting and cleaning. And in this video, I'm just gonna dive in deeper and talk about the difference between sanitizing and disinfecting because it is very important. It could be the difference in you, you know, getting sick and staying healthy. To make this super duper simple for you, I got a whiteboard and I'm going to make two statements. Here's the difference between sanitizing and disinfecting. I hope y'all can read my writing. Sanitizers kill bacteria on a surface by 99.9%. Keyword. Bacteria. Disinfectants kill bacteria and viruses on a surface by 99.9%. Keywords, bacteria and viruses. So disinfecting is sanitizing on steroids. Disinfecting is more powerful. Sanitizing can't kill viruses. Disinfecting can kill both. In both situations, you're reducing, you're lowering the amount of germs present. Now, germs, the thing about the word germs, germs is nothing more than an umbrella term. It's just a catch-all term. It means it's not anything in specific. You got germs, okay, so germs is the umbrella term, and underneath it you got viruses, bacteria, fungi, etc. Mildews. Any microorganism that causes illnesses falls under germs. So germs is nothing more than an umbrella term. Take this product right here. This product says kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. So what does this product do? According to what I just told you, what does it do? It's a disinfectant wipe. Kills staph, E. coli, MRSA, kills salmonella, strep, kleb, kills cold and flu viruses. Now what about this product right here? It kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So what is germs? Well germs is nothing more than a generic term, so we need more information which means we need to take this thing. Oh, I gave the answer away. <laughs> we need to take this thing. We need to flip it over to the back to see what we're killing here. To decrease bacteria on the skin that could cause disease. So what is this? Hand sanitizer. So you got a disinfectant wipe that kills bacteria and viruses, and you got your hand sanitizer that just kills bacteria. By the way, I'm sorry for this light right here on this board from the camera. I need to get my lighting situation worked out a little better. So schools, restaurants, gyms, you know, those kind of places, they have sanitizing procedures in place. When a restaurant is sanitizing their cutting board, they're not out to kill flu viruses, right? They're just trying to reduce the number of bacteria to a safer level and then move on. If you had strep throat, if you had the flu in your home, you know, you'd want to go around and disinfect the home. Sanitizing would do you no good. Important note, whenever you're choosing a disinfectant, it's important to read the label on the disinfectant for what the product actually kills. One disinfectant might be made to kill germs A and B, while another disinfectant might be made to kill germs G and H. When a product says it will kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses, it means that it will kill 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria listed on that product. That's important to remember. Furthermore, sanitizers, disinfectants, they're regulated by the EPA. They run through rigorous tests, so if they're making claims that they're going to disinfect or sanitize, you can bet your bottom dollar they're going to work. It's illegal for them to make those kind of claims 
if they don't work. Bonus nugget for you, and this is probably my favorite part of the video. So this kills 99.9% .9 of all microbial life listed on the product. What would you call the process of killing 100% of all microbial life? It's called sterilization. It's like a nuclear bomb got dropped in the microbial world. Those microbes ain't screaming yay yay, I can guarantee you that. One last thing I'll mention about sanitizing and disinfecting is disinfecting takes longer. Each product will tell you how long it will take. Typically it's anywhere from 2 to 10 minutes, which is how long you have to leave it wet for. That's why when you pull out a disinfecting wipe, it's soaking wet. Because that's how you disinfect. You have to hit that surface, leave it wet for the dwell time that's recommended. 2 to 10 minutes, depending on the product. If you see it start to get dry, you got to hit it again. You compare that with this product that takes 15 seconds to kill 99.9 percent .9 of bacteria. So viruses take 8, 10, 12 times longer to kill than just regular old bacteria. You know in the public places like gyms, restaurants, public areas they talk about sanitizing and sanitizing is all fine and dandy. You know you sanitize your workout equipment, your restaurant tables, it's all fine and dandy until someone walks in with the flu and leaves the flu virus right there on the table or the gym equipment. And so you might say, well, what's the point of sanitizing? Why don't you just disinfect every time? Well, if you had to wait and disinfect a piece of gym equipment every single time a person used it you know, five minutes in between uses, it's just, it's not manageable. I mean, who's going to be in charge of watching every piece of gym equipment and saying, oh, it's got to be disinfectant after every use or, you know, waiting five to ten minutes after someone leaves a table in a restaurant until the next customer can come in. It's just all about money, you know. Restaurants would lose money wasting that kind of time. Time is money, you know. So that's why they invented the sanitizing process is they're just reducing the level of bacteria real quick to a level that's safer for everyone. So I hope this helps. I hope it made sense. I hope y'all found it valuable. I really appreciate y'all checking out the video. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next one.